Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your ASUS FeverBook X413F solid state drive or RAM. Also you're gonna see what's going on inside of this little laptop. You're gonna see how the motherboard looks like, how the Wi-Fi card looks like, how the battery looks like etc. And of course you're gonna see how you can open up this little laptop. It's easy enough I promise. There's not more than just removing the back panel and you are able to see what's going on inside of this laptop. First things first you have to remove all the screws on the back panel. Yep, yeah, these ones. And you need pretty standard screwdriver. I, I presume everyone has one in their household. So remove all the screws from the back panel. It shouldn't take you more than a minute or two maybe. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. Just to be less boring I suppose. Okay, screws are removed. You need something uh, plasticky to remove the back panel. It comes off easy enough, I promise you. Just, you do need a bit of power to remove it. Just be careful, don't break anything, don't break your hands, don't break the laptop. I just realized that you have hairy hands. <laughs> Okay, this is the back panel now for you. It's a bit dirty. It's been used for a year or two now at this stage. Okay, this is how it looks now. Pretty decent. There is upgrade options there. Not as much as I was hoping for, but enough, I suppose. There's your battery. There's your battery connection. There's your SSD drive, M2. At the moment there's 128 gigabyte in it. There's your Wi-Fi card. In a moment I'm gonna you're gonna have a closer look on these things anyway, so. And that's your second solid state drive slot, which is surprising actually that there is one. It's empty at the moment, I'm gonna install something in it later on, so you're gonna see it. Okay, just a closer look here. There's your battery. I'm gonna leave some details in the description anyway, so it's gonna be easier for you to find if you're looking for a new battery or second-hand used one, whatever. There's your connections. There's your solid-state drive. I have to say that they're fast drives. Only thing about them is they're small enough, under 28 gigs. There's your Wi-Fi card. Closer look now. I don't know, can you see it? It doesn't focus too well, but okay. There's your laptop's fan. There's your CPU. CPU is not upgradable, by the way, if you are looking to upgrade CPU, not possible. And there's your second solid state drive slot, M2. Sad news now about this laptop is you can't upgrade RAM. It's not possible. I promise you, this laptop came with 4 gigs, so that's what's gonna stay in at 4 gigs, not upgradable. Okay, I'm gonna remove the solid state drive now from it, we're gonna upgrade that in a second. Take good care now removing, it kind of clips in a little bit, so... Okay, that's the closer look now. They're pretty good drives actually, speed-wise they're very very good. Just not enough space I suppose, that's all. 128 gigabyte. Also, I'm gonna leave just some serial number in the description if you're looking for specs of it. And that's what's gonna go in it now, Samsung 500 gigs SSD 980 NVMe. They are really good drives, fast enough now, probably too fast for this little laptop. But uh, there's enough storage on it anyway, 500 gigs should be enough this day to anyone really. Okay, this is how it looks like. Nice design, I suppose. Nice black one. <laughs> they are really fast drives. And later on, I'm gonna do some benchmarking on this laptop, so you're gonna see the results there as well, so. And same thing, just it kind of clips in now. Take good care, don't 
push it too much. There you go, it clips in nicely. And the thing about the upgrading second bay now on SSD, there is no screw for it, so you'd have to find your own. <laughs> you have to find your own screw. Okay. It's funny enough, I suppose. Uh, okay, this is it. This is the second slot here. I'm going to upgrade that now. I'm just going to put actually 128 gigs, one of my older solid state drives in it, just for extra storage. Windows going to be still installed on the 500 gig Samsung drive. So this would be just uh, as a backup drive, I suppose, for a few files, etc. That's 128 gigs. That's an older drive. It's not as fast now. Still faster than spinning any spinning drive, but it's good. And same thing, it clips kind of in a little bit, so they could care. And that's the screw now you need. Because laptop does not come with it, so you'd have to find it in your house. Or I read in internet, people actually went out and bought them separately, so don't know. Okay, that's the upgrading done. As I said, RAM is not upgradable. If you bought laptop with eight gigs, good for you, you did really well. This laptop only has four gigs and unless you're able to use uh, Intel Optane memory, which I'm not sure I never used it. If anyone has, please leave a comment below and would be nice to know actually about it. And same thing, close the back panel, just press it in gently and put the screws back in. And we're gonna have a little boot speed as well, boot speed test in a minute. I promise you it's very, very good. Actually surprised how good it is since this is only i3 CPU on it, 10th generation though. Okay, there we go. It's gonna press the power button now. Okay, this is really, really amazing actually. Nine, nine and a half seconds boot time to Windows, absolutely brilliant. Okay, we're gonna just browse into Windows a little bit, uh, just go to my computer and show you some specs of it. That's it, that's the model, that's the CPU. 10th generation i3 and 4 gigs of RAM, which is not, it's, it's gonna be 4 gigs forever on this laptop, sadly, now I have to say. Go to this PC now, and you see two drives there, that's a 500 gig and that's 128 gig for storage only. I'm gonna go to device manager now and show you there as well. Okay, these are the two disk drives now. As you see, everything is working, 100%, no issues there. Ultra HD graphics. And of course, your CPU as well. I'm gonna go to disk management now and show you, show you there as well. You can see they're all there. It's all working 100%, nice and fast laptop. I have to say, boots up really fast as you saw before. Quite amazing for such a kind of a mediocre laptop actually nice full HD screen okay I'm gonna run some benchmark now I'm just gonna speed through the things uh, and also I'm gonna leave a link in the description with the results so you can go and kind of uh, see yourself I'm gonna go briefly through here anyway but uh, just if you're looking for more details you can see them later on okay this is it now CPU is pretty okay on it, as you see. For gaming, this laptop is not meant to be. It's terrible, as you see. And the storage now, wow, that's a good one now. That's that's impressive, I suppose. And RAM also, it's pretty good, for at least for four gigs. Okay, that's it, guys. Hopefully now this was helpful if you were looking for some upgrade options for this laptop. And if it was helpful, like the video and uh, subscribe. Have a good life. Bye-bye.